Welcome to our physics project, the Torque Shed. In this project, we'll be explaining how a trebuchet works with torque, kinematics, and Newton's laws. Thanks. Torque is the force perpendicular to the lever arm that tends to cause rotation. In our trebuchet, the force is being applied by the counterweight on the end, which applies a downward force equal to its weight on the arm of the trebuchet, which is the lever arm. The torque is measured by the force, which is the weight, multiplied by the length of the lever arm, which is 14 inches on our trebuchet. The torque is what causes the lever arm and the pocket to accelerate, which is what launches the projectile. The weights cause the lever arm to rotate about the fulcrum, causing the projectile from the other end to accelerate and shoot into the air. Now let's talk about energy. When you hold down the lever arm, the force of the weights on the arm produce potential energy in the trebuchet, which turns to kinetic energy when the lever arm is released. Newton's first law is inertia or that objects at rest tend to stay at rest, and objects in motion tend to stay in motion. What this means is that without the force from the weights, the trebuchet and the projectile will stay at rest and not move, and then after the force has been applied to the projectile, it will continue to move through the air until it is stopped by friction when it hits the ground. Newton's second law is the sum of force equals mass times acceleration. The force applied to the system will accelerate the projectile depending on its mass. Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. This means that both the projectile and the trebuchet receive the same force, but because the projectile is so much smaller in mass, the trebuchet does not move. The kinematics behind a trebuchet is very simple. First, we need to only look at the projectile after it's just left the pouch. This means that the motion of the trebuchet is irrelevant. The height of the projectile depends on the vertical component of the velocity. This determines the time that the projectile is in the air, which in turn determines the distance it travels horizontally, which is traversed by constant speed. The vertical component of the velocity is found by the equation velocity times sine theta, with theta being the angle that the projectile is released from the ground. The horizontal component of the speed is determined by velocity times cosine theta. Thanks for watching our presentation and enjoy the following bloopers. Oh, my God.